Hello and welcome in the 18th part of my tutorial and this tutorial could be the last tutorial of my means ball game series as I have left with no other topics so if you have any suggestions uh, means about the topic about which I should make a video please tell me this would be a great help so let's start the video now in this video I will show you how you can save your score or means basically create a high score means save a high score so here's a little scene uh, a simple ball with um, means movement script and point setup script some points set up and a finish cube uh, with a script called save scene attached to it so first let me show you how it works sorry now I have already means save this means made this video previously also so the highest score is already saved here that is 241 and it's by me you can see here and now if I could make a high score by me now let me try So see 338. So as you have seen the high score is my score is now 338 and now I will type my name and just click on save. No. See it has see it has been changed to 338 and if i would play it again this will be remain same sorry now let's go move to the script so first I've created two private variables that now uh, two private variables width and height data floats and I have made them means as assigned their value as width equals screen dot width and height equals screen dot height so this the width will be equals to screen dot width and height would be equals to the screen height it will help means basically a shortcut so that I don't have to type means the whole sentence screen dot width and now after that a variable touched which is a boolean now what it will do is uh, means when the ball will collide with uh, this finish this thing the touch variable will get through and these things means the command over here will get executed now let's move to the third means for that you need to go through this now first basically create a GUI box name that high score label your score is another label highest score is now third level label and it's an empty string plus the score as I cannot directly print an integer neither it will show us an error display score and <coughs> means this score is the score scored by you and another label and this displays the highest score ever scored in the game 
on a machine yeah and now another label that is that tells the name mm, and then create a retry button so 180 and plus 3 and retry means retrying the level and saving the score now this is where the ed means difficulty begins so h score equals to score if we click on save and h name equals to y name which is your name a variable here which means y name is a string and your name h name the highest mean the name of the person who have scored the highest uh, score and now player preps this is the thing we are using to save the information and this is just means creates a what we can call it mm, creates a, a saving sector in our computer and to know the place you can just find it on scripting reference and just type player, prep, player preps and now the command we are using here are, is set integer now let me first go there so it can become more clear now these are all the commands you can use under player preps set integer means setting an integer value uh, which is saved by a special string now in this mean script we have first on a function awake we have if means done if player preps dot has key that will check if this string is has does has some value or not if it doesn't have some means if it ha would have a value then s score means the highest score will get player means set as the highest score means the saved score in our machine will be get means equal to h means h score will get equal to the score saved in our machine and highest score name means h name will get the <coughs> we uh, will get equals to the name saved in this sector and now the main thing is that you should mean save on uh, set uh, integer with set integer or ga get an integer value with get integer set a float value with set float get a float value with get float and set a string set string and get for to get a string you should use get string now this thing is for means if you cannot um, like save a name with the command get integer means yes set integer so this is basically like that now this means I have done this because for the first time this wouldn't work because we have not means we should first create and uh, means these save sectors in our PC so that information can be stored here so now to create it you can means do this put an else statement then in bracket write type players pref start set integer means it will create an integer uh, with a string name as high score and its value would be zero and set string will create a string and with means which will be named as high name and it would contain the string your name and now then the same thing h score equals this this, this and h name equals this and so we have here just set this value and means change this value if after saving that means if I even score mm, 600 then the previous value which would which is 338 will get changed to 600 and string name means if I this time type YouTube will get changed to YouTube and now the score means it is a integer so that it does not get messed up 
you can also name it means declare it as float but it is nice for me now score equals points dot add up dot score which is our score uh, score in the game into 10 minus time taken you can do anything here and even means divided by time or anything so but remember the uh, well, score display should not be very less not time dot time taken yeah this thing is like in you so now time is also time taken is also an integer so, and its value is equals to time dot time me sorry equals to time dot time since level load that is the time since the level had it's the time since the level had been loaded um so that means if you use this time dot time and move to the next level then the time will just continue to be go means go on like if you have completed the first level in uh, uh, 25 minutes then and second level in 25 minutes as well so the time dot time will get be 50 minutes and that is really really big problem so to do this this command is used time since level low and please use it please use it in your games and make your games means look more professional like so now you would have think that how did I uh, created that box with from which I could where really type my name now this this is the matter so first um, a variable y name string so it means you need to create our string right and then if score is uh, means greater than high score means it the thing will not get displayed here if is this thing also should be uh, here sorry but I forgot to explain you about this so I'm making this video after sh means recording the previous one so if means now um, let's move to that part so y name would equals to gui dot text area that is the command used to create a box in which you can type it to text rectangle this and then add here name of the string you want to edit with it and the highest number of words you want to um, uh, add in means you can means type in it